Okay, I want to go after the header now for the, the high-resolution layout. And I want to make sure that I use the exact same blue that you and I had set up back inside Photoshop way back when. So there's a few different ways to do this, but here's what I prefer doing. I prefer going back to the actual layout inside Photoshop, okay, which I conveniently have open inside the background. So you may want to go and open up the high-resolution layout inside Photoshop to follow along. And like I say, there's a variety of ways to do this. What we could do is we could twist open the header area layer group, and then we could go after the actual header object itself. So don't forget, he has a color overlay applied to him. Okay, so I had to drop down this color overlay, or the layer effect, I'm sorry, I should say, and then that reveals the color overlay. And then I could double click on that color overlay to get myself back inside the layer style dialog box. I'm sure you remember this guy. And there's the color that you and I had set. So what I could do now is I could click on the color swatch and then make a note of the red, green, and blue color values that we used to get that blue. Okay, so typically what I would do is I would probably scribble it down on a scrap piece of paper. I usually keep some, you know, scrap paper handy just for such quick notes. And then what I want to do is I want to go and set up the same color that we've used here inside Photoshop over inside the, it would be the high resolution media query inside the external style sheet. You still with me? I hope so. All right, if you're not really sure what the heck's going on, here we go. So I'm gonna flip over to the, the coding application into the external style sheet. I am double checking that I'm inside the high resolution media query. This is one of the reasons, by the way, why I stick in these CSS comments. So inside the high resolution media query, I'm gonna look for header. Okay, there he is right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for his background property and I'm simply gonna change the value. So the value that we used back when we were simply wireframing this out is just kind of a mid gray, 200, 200, 200. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the same RGB color values that I scribbled down on a scrap piece of paper that we got out of the, the dialog box back in Photoshop, okay? Now, I'm not expecting that you remember what they are. I've already got them written out here for myself. So it's 0, 80, comma 125. So you can go back and double check that in Photoshop if you want, or you can simply throw it in here just like myself. Go ahead and save up the external style sheet, head back to your browser and refresh and voila, there we go. There's our, our blue right out of Photoshop. Okay, perfect, good stuff. Now this is where things really start happening. We start to see our design coming through inside the browser, which is exciting. And things are really going to start coming together with our main navigation menu. And that is next.